Hey guys, uh, it is Yuki here with today's vlog. Um, I'm about, I just got home. Uh, my brother's here actually right now. He does not want to be in the vlog, but he is uh, currently getting stuff from his car. But real quick, um, this clip is just gonna be me unboxing a quick package that I received in the mail. And I feel like you guys might like this one. So <clears throat> we're going to unbox it real quick. Let me drop you guys up over here. Um, that works. So let us dig into it. I think you guys will really find this one interesting. Um, I just got off of work not too long ago. Um, tonight is going to be kind of just a free day for me. Um, he's over. My brother's over here. We're going to play some Dokapon Kingdom for the Wii. And then uh, I've got bubble mailers that finally came in. So I will be listing some things for sale on eBay probably tonight. Uh, I might document that process or show you guys how it all works or how I learn because the reason I'm doing these vlogs is so we kind of like learn this stuff together so that if anybody else wants to start their own video gaming store or has you know ambitious you know goals in life that they can look from what I've done and kind of get a feel for it anyway here is the game oh man this is so cool it is Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards sealed for the Game Boy Advanced. And, um, damn, this is so fucking cool. I don't, I don't even know if I want to open it, because I have a loose card. But, fuck, I like because my, my goal was to open it up, you know, open up the seal. And, uh, check it out. I don't know. I will see you guys in a minute, and I will come to a conclusion on that. Alright guys, so, sorry that the uh, vlog for today, today's vlog, um, or yesterday's vlog, I don't know, didn't go up, because it was supposed to go up yesterday my time, or today my time, so the day I'm recording this vlog, uh, it was supposed to be up. However, it's not, because I had stuff to do with my brother who came over, and I totally didn't have time to edit it and upload it. It was me unboxing the, uh, uh, it was like Sonic Heroes, Sonic DX, and a couple of other games. Um, I fixed the Dark Cloud 2, by the way. Um, the cover was real and everything. It was literally just a blockbuster case, so I just swapped out the case. And, um, it's a lot better now. It's a good good thing. I just need to find a manual, and I need to resurface the disc. But, overall, pretty good condition. However, um, yeah, so that's that video. I will have that uploaded first thing tomorrow. Um, and then today's vlog will be uploaded the day after that. So, I'm recording this on the 21st, but this will be uploaded on the 23rd. And the video I recorded yesterday will be up to the 22nd, so. Um, yeah, I will eventually, hopefully, get into the habit of recording and then editing vlogs the same day and making sure everything gets done, you know, in one day. So I'm not, you know, backlogged or whatever, but I will be going on vacation very soon. It's like a staycation with the whole coronavirus thing going on. So I will be able to work non-stop on things. That's kind of my plan. Um, I just want to focus all of my time into working on projects I've been passionate about. So there's that. I did talk about uh, putting up these games for sale on eBay. Um, it's like Mortal Kombat 2, uh, Mega Man X, Darkstalkers 3, Sega Rally, Championship. I'll be putting all those up um, probably tomorrow morning after I uh, upload the other vlog, but I'm gonna go through all the process of this. Um, I've never posted anything on eBay, so we're gonna go through it together. Um, I'm gonna talk about my experiences, talk about it, but uh, now let's get back to the original thing I was with this video, and that is Yu-Gi-Oh! and the Sacred Cards complete, sealed. I'm sorry about the light, by the way. Um, this is crazy to me. I literally just was like thinking one day, I was like, man, I really wanna get one of those old Yu-Gi-Oh games that I love and just see if it still has like the cards in it, you know what I mean? 
And then I thought, like, huh, I'll just look it up new, you know? And then, lo and behold, holy shit, like, they have them for sale, brand new, for $27, I think I paid, which is crazy to me, because I feel like Game Boy Advance games are just expensive, especially brand new with the HCM and everything. Um, because it is a good, it's like the, the HCM is not resealed or anything. It literally is brand new. Like, I want to open it for practicality reasons. I mean, I have a loose copy of the game. Um, I can probably find it in my box over there, but... So I don't need to open it, and... Like, I hate sealed games for the reason that I can't play them. But if I have a copy that I can play, then there's no point in opening up a sealed game. But part of me wants to open it up just to kind of check out the cards that are in the game. Because um, those are pretty cool. It's a Ryoku, Ryoku, um, Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, and the Gate Attack. Um, which is really cool. But uh, this is a very good game. Like, I'm not going to lie. This is cool. And kind of want to check out the manual too, just to see what that's like. Because it's very old. It doesn't play by the, the standard Yu-Gi-Oh! rules. It's its own thing. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Like, it's so cool, though. I don't want to open it because it just, I don't know, having it sealed is kind of cool to me. And to be fair, if I really do want to open one, I could always just buy another one because it is only $27. And part of me is tempted to do that. But I don't know yet. <laughs> I shouldn't wait because, you know, the longer I wait, the more expensive it's going to be eventually and all that stuff. Um... I don't know why this game is in particularly so cheap. Maybe there's just more games that are for Game Boy Advance that are sealed, that are cheap. I might check that out actually, because I, I like collecting for the Game Boy Advance. Like I only own, I only own these two games, Yoshi's Island and Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, which I need to put over like this. Um, those are the only two in-box Game Boy Advance games I have, um, and Game Boy Inv Game Boy games in general. I did have an opportunity to grab. Uh, Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy Color uh, for 40 bucks, which is basically retail. And it was an immaculate case, and I don't know why I didn't grab it, but um, I didn't, and then that store actually went out of business, so I never got the chance to pick it up. But I'm sure I can find one online. Pokemon Pinball for the Game Boy Advance, for the Game Boy Color, is amazing, by the way. Uh, that's a very good Game Boy Color game. Probably one of my top 10. Um, it's up there with uh, the Pokemon Trading Card game as well. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe I should <clears throat> talk about... I don't know. Maybe I should look it up. I don't know. I might check out to see if they've got some nice Game Boy Advance inbox games because, damn, are they cool as shit. Um, but I think that's it for today. Uh, enough rambling about Yu-Gi-Oh! and Game Boy Advanced. But, fuck, I love the Game Boy Advance. It's such a cool console. I love handheld stuff. Um... I want to extend, expand my handheld collection because right now all of my shit's loose, so that kind of sucks because you can't really display loose cartridges very well. I was thinking about getting a glass case on my wall that's kind of like uh, what you would see at like, you know, GameStop or whatever or like a, a game store, and I still might do that. I think it's still a cool idea to just kind of have a glass case at my house on my wall that just has all the loose carts, and I can just pick from it. And then, you know, they're on display, but then I can also play them whenever I want. So I'm not looking into that as well, but uh, that'll be it for this, ep or this vlog. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. I don't... I think I might have a package to open tomorrow. I might have at least one. But uh, obviously I'll let you guys know, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.